Welcome back everyone. This is Threever After High with another video. Once again with Rapples, the Dark Fantasy MMORPG brought to you by WebZen. Today we will be covering the White Dragon and Dragon Riding. Alright. Here comes our White Dragon now. So uh, we are going to be uh, assisted by Suki-sama once again and Narcissistic Dragon. Narcissistic Dragon was my first white dragon, and, uh, well, I've had quite a fascination with them ever since their release in Epic Five. So, let's take a ride. This is one of my favorite things about dragons, is you can fly. It's the coolest thing. Yeah, I believe this is the only flying mount in the game, or at least pet-wise. Uh, you can get, um flying mounts it's once again just another dragon looks exactly like this just different colors you can buy those from the cash shop uh, I don't buy cash shop so I get real dragons and you get to fly around and enjoy this lovely scenery I have a lot of things turned off don't want a whole lot of lag but the dragons are some of the uh, most unique and uh, awesome pets in the game, in my mind anyways. If anyone is any type of a mage of any sort, uh, you're going to want to look at dragons as your belt pet. They add to intelligence and they also add to vitality, so that's, uh, that's kind of major. Uh, I'll bring it up right now. We can just check out those belt passes real quick. So, stage zero dragon adds 9.5 vitality and 9.5 intelligence. Those are some pretty serious stats for one pet. Um, every stage that goes up by another 0.5, so stage one would be plus 10% to each of those. Uh, the uh, other nice thing about this is the immediate passive is defense and magic attack. So right off the bat, you have a great physical de defense, your vitality is through the roof, your intelligence is through the roof, and your magic attacks through the roof. So you're just getting a lot of defense and a lot of magical attack with just this one for a pet. Uh, as you can see now, I'm a mage. Corruptor, and I'm wearing three of them. Uh, if you have three S1 dragons, that's going to give you the most stats allowable in the game. The game allows you 30% to each stat, um, with the exception of multiple cards. So, say if you had two dragons that were S1, just to make numbers even, you will have a 22% bonus. You get 20% to both Vitality and Intelligence, and then you get uh, another 2%, um, 1% per each card for having two of the same card. Uh, if you were to have three, you have 33%. So 30% total, 3% extra, 1% extra for each card. Uh, you're going to want this pet if you're a mage, bottom line. I know I was talking to Silver One, and he uh, has been asking about making a cardinal. Sorry, <laughs> baby, just throwing furniture around. Uh, he's asked about a cardinal. Uh, cardinals definitely want white dragons for pets, especially damage dealing cardinals. They're going to give you that nice defense boost, they're going to give you a nice HP boost, and they're going to give you a nice M attack, which is going to be awesome. So um, definitely look into getting some of those, and uh, I'm working on making that Cardinal video, Silver One, so shout out to you for that video. Um, I, he's only a cleric right now, but uh, I'll have that ready. I'm probably going to make a short video before just to show what kind of stats I'm going to try and highlight on the Cardinal, but uh, just wait for that video, and I'll keep you updated. Alright, just wanted to do something short for now and show some dragon flying. Uh, this is three of after high, so uh, you guys have a good evening. <laughs> Falling injury. That's how we're going to end it. All right. Have a good one, everyone. 
Uh, please subscribe, watch as many of my videos as you can, and also do not hesitate to ask any questions, all right?